Hi guys, I had quite a productive day in the shed today so I thought I'd share the finished items with you. That is Sean House of Fire 72's spoon carving gouge, adds, tool, whatever you want to call it. A um, bit of walnut. Sean you said you preferred it slightly rounded, I hope that's kind of what you had in mind. It sits quite nicely in the hand. I've just put a little leather duck bill on it just to cover the cutting edge. Holds a pretty decent edge. Uh, <coughs> does what it's supposed to do. None of this is in shot. Let's try that again. This is a dry bit of hazel, so make fairly short work of it. So yeah, um, as soon as I get the chance, Sean, I'll send that off to you. Came out quite nice, I thought. Anyway. Next bit. Uh, those of you that watched my video on the bushcraft show this year, you'll have seen that I picked up this little axe head, a little Swedish Sandvik that had seen better days. Um, just made it a ash handle and took care of the mushrooming on the back. Just polished it up a bit and put an edge on it. It's shaving sharp. So, pop the hair off my arm, I don't think it'll show up on camera, but yeah, nice edge on it, really nice bit of steel, still can't believe I got that for five pounds, very happy with that. This seems to be living in, the, in my workshop at the moment and I use it to trim any bits of wood for the handles and things that I use. So that seems to have found a home. Uh, next bit. Just another little file knife that I made. A uh, bit of cherry on the handle. This was just a small little file that I made two knives out of. Uh, one went to Chris Wyndham Woodcroft as part of my 50 subscriber giveaway that he won. And this is just the bit I had left, so I made myself one. I don't know if I'll use this for a kitchen knife or take it as a carving knife. I haven't decided yet. But I thought that came out quite nicely. The other bit, another file knife. I just wanted to try something with a bigger copper ferrule than with the. Uh, spoon carving gouges and I put the ferrule on so it doesn't split out when I put the piece of coil spring in the top and this is just a an old file that I've put a convex edge on and a bit of apple as the handle really light comfortable knife gonna make it a sheath obviously etch my initials on it and then see if anyone wants it and last but not least uh, did the metal for a nice bushcraft knife for myself or maybe for someone else depending on how it work, goes but that's my first attempt using Scott from Moist Six Blades bevel block and my little 1x30 has come out quite nice and um, obviously it's not a jack law but plunge lines aren't too horrible and it's fairly even um, it's an 11 degree bevel block so this should be 22 degrees compound and 
it's scary sharp guys um, it really just floats through things it's ridiculous so I'm quite pleased with that um, basically a, a bush law design I've just made the blade five and a half inches instead of the normal sort of four and a half five inch just giving it a bit more I've always liked um, Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder knife the size of it but I've I'm not too keen on the the old French um, I suppose cook's knife I think it was that he likes the shape of to use for his bushcraft I've always liked sort of more the the bush law shape so I decided to make a bush law with a longer blade should make batoning easier because there'll be more of the tip sticking out to hit on but yeah I think that's going to come out quite nice when it's done and the edge of this holes is just silly so yeah I think that's going to end up quite nice anyway that's it for today guys. Thanks. Bye.